Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies along with some extra goodies. The Frenchy Nymph is a proven fish catcher and seems to work just about everywhere. In smaller sizes like this 18, it's especially effective. To start, get hold of one of the hooks with the bead already on it and get it firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. For hooks without beads, simply insert the hook point into the small hole of the bead and slip the bead around the hook bend, then down the shank until it rests behind the eye. Load your bobbin with a spool of fire orange uni thread. Use a jam wrap to get your thread started on the hook shank behind the bead and take a few wraps rearward before snipping the tag off close. Get hold of one end of the silver para wire and lay it against the near side of the hook so it extends to the back edge of the bead. Take wraps with your tying thread to secure the wire to the hook shank. Allow thread torque to carry the wire to the far side of the hook. Continue taking wraps all the way back to the start of the hook bend. Select a single natural Indian neck feather and pull down 8 to 10 barbs perpendicular to the stem. Strip them free while keeping their tips aligned, then snip off the curly butt ends. With the fibers in the fingertips of your right hand, measure to form a tail, a hook shank in length, then transfer that measurement rearward to the start of the hook bend. Take wraps of tying thread to secure the fibers to the top of the shank. You can make minor adjustments to the tail length if necessary. Once you're satisfied with how the tail looks, continue taking wraps of tying thread forward, binding the fibers down as you go. After a few wraps, snip the excess butt ends off close. Pull down on your bobbin to expose about 2 inches of tying thread. Take just a small amount of brown dubbing from the packet. Pinch the dubbing onto your tying thread and twist clockwise with your fingertips to create a short, very thin dubbing noodle. You want to do little more than color the tying thread with the dubbing. Once the noodle's complete, start taking wraps with it so the dubbing begins right at the base of the tail. Continue making touching wraps forward to build up a slender, slightly tapered body on the fly. End with your tying thread immediately behind the bead. If some of the fibers look a little too wild, now's a good time to trim them back. Get hold of the silver wire and start making open spiral wraps with it over top of the dub body to rib and segment the fly. When you reach the bead, take several nice tight wraps of tying thread to firmly anchor the wire then helicopter to break it off close. From the packet of pink dubbing, pull just the smallest wisp of material. Again, pinch it on your tying thread and twist clockwise to form a short, very thin dubbing noodle. Err on the side of less dubbing rather than more. Start taking wraps with the noodle to build up a pink thorax on the fly. When you run out of dubbing, keep taking wraps with your tying thread to create a narrow hot spot collar at the back edge of the bead. You can then do a 4 or 5 turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip or cut your tying thread free. Once again, you may want to trim any errant fibers, but it really isn't necessary. A size 18 Frenchie is a fairly small offering, but one that trout are all too happy to take.